that up. All right, and then they're all male. Everyone's male. It's 2023. Hey, if we if we change their genders, then our then our then our Pokemon are valid. Our emotions are valid. So it's 2023. Apparently, <laughs> so they're all transitioning to males, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's the only option. Usually, it's it goes dog the, eat dog world. Out usually there. in sports, the males are transitioning to females. The other <laughs> Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas and probably Happy New Year, unless I'm an editing fiend. Welcome to the Pokey Podcast. I'm Dolan Malna, and I'm in here with my associates, Christian and Austin, and we're having an absolute blast. Fellas, in the order I addressed you, how you feeling, Pokey-tacular? I... In order did you address us? <laughs> <laughs> Man. To be honest, I zoned you out. Man! Christian, Christian... Tell us the wonders of Christmas time Pokemon. Hey, Weeping Bell, Weeping Bell, Weeping All the Way. <laughs> okay, man, did you, man, did you come out of that? You have that in your back pocket, or did you just like off the cuff right there? I just came up with that. Dude, I this is why we keep you around for the legendary improv. Austin, <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking to you now. This is me speaking to you. How are you feeling? Diglett. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to make the picture worse each time this comes back up, you realize, right? Yes. Oh, man. It's going to get... This is a PG show. Okay. Well, it's been a little bit since we... We actually beat the game a bit ago, but it's been a little bit since we were able to get together. We all had several Christmases. I mean, probably at least 12 between the three of us. But we're here together to wrap up the year. We started this project a year ago. We've come full circle, and we finished the Game Boy era, the post-game of Pokemon Gen 2. Gentlemen, it's time to discuss this generation. And without further ado, do any of y'all, did any of this stand out to any of y'all? Because it, it sure did to me. Uh, but uh, I, I, before the show started, Christian, you said that you had... Uh, a particular gym stand out to you in this post game visiting Kanto for a second time. Yes, and for the life of me, I can't remember which the, the name of the gym leader yeah. or which one it was. But all I know is everyone in there is in person. I think it was Jasmine, but everyone in there is impersonating Jasmine. So whenever you go to talk to someone, thinking, "Okay, I finally got to the gym leader." They're like, tricked you. I'm actually a child. I'm a schoolboy. <laughs> Fight me. Oh, just imagining this like two kids in a trench coat with a wig on, you know? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. I guess I should have, you know what? I may even be out of it. But I, I guess general, I should start general thought, shouldn't I? Have? That's how podcasts usually go. Um, okay. I'm going to backtrack slightly and say, what do y'all think about, and I'll, I'll start with my thoughts, give you a second to gather them, but. There's a whole smaller but second Pokemon game in our Pokemon game, if you if you didn't notice, which is pretty interesting. You get to go back and see Kanto, uh, which we did earlier, and you can see it again. It's been three years. Things have changed. Uh, you know, there's a whole... It's, it's truncated, but you kind of get to relive the glory days of earlier this year. Um, I think that's pretty neat, but also... I'm ready to be done with Gen 2, so I, I kind of zoomed through it. It it, it 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 felt like a little bit of a victory lap in more than one way, because it felt, to me at least, pretty pretty darn short, pretty darn easy. It, it upset me a little bit that like I beat the Elite Four, and then it's like, all right, everything is like just below the level of the Elite Four. So it, it did kind of feel like uh, a bit of a, a bit of a you know kind of an obligation, not really like a progression. It's like we're just here to be like, yeah, I'm the best, and stomp everything and go about our day until the end. That's some foreshadowing, maybe. But before we get there, Austin, general impressions on going back to Kanto. Uh, it was essentially just Gen One, the speed run <laughs> with a couple extra twists. Uh, well, you got to actually finish. It's a little bit of validation for you, right? Because you didn't get to actually finish Gen One. Uh, yes, I didn't have a lousy Pikachu only this time. I actually had two reliable Pokemon that uh, was able to handle most things fairly well until a couple of occasional rough patches. Yeah, yeah, that's also foreshadowing. 
<laughs> uh, Christian, what about you? The return to Gen 1, nostalgia already? Did it fill your heart with glee, or was it just kind of another dull, uh, you know, a dull cover of a great song? I, I enjoyed it. I felt like there were some nice callbacks to the first game. Um, it, it wasn't like I hated every minute of it. I felt like it was a fairly enjoyable experience and, uh, I am ready for Gen 3 though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get that. Didn't hate every minute of it. We could basically put that on the back of the box. I think at this point, you know, like, mm -hmm. some good. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the time of life, if it's just this particular game, if I'm getting tired of Pokemon, but I will admit by the end of it, I straight up, I cheated. We hit our point and we're like, all right, we're going to finish last gen and wait to red. And I didn't. I was like, I just want to be done with this. And I just finished red and went, Godspeed, you guys catch up whenever. Because I, I, I think I'm kind of like you. I didn't hate it, but I was so ready to be done. I think, unfortunately, we've talked about this before, that we can't go back and experience these the same way that kids did in the time imagine like you're getting one game boy game like a year or something like that man i would have been glad to have this much to hold me over like how cool but mm -hmm. when we're trying to make some progress through these games and when we're not playing a little bit every day we're just i mean we're playing a little bit every day but we're trying to kind of power through them a little bit and just get to the end we're not trying to see every nook and cranny and talk with our friends we're just kind of going through it together casually you know years later I'm going to be honest, this is, a, this is a little bit of filler. And by a little bit, I, I mean a lot of filler. Um, I'm sure it was great bang for your buck in terms of like money investment at the time. But when you think about time investment, I was by the end of this going, I'm ready to be done with this game. And I'm still glad in the long run that we did it, especially for the final climactic battle. That was actually pretty interesting and fun. But the whole Kanto situation going back, um, seeing these puzzles on speedrun cracked me up. And we, I could tell we're all playing this kind of the same way, in a sense. We're all a little bit going on autopilot through these games, I, I know. Um, because I got to this, and I remember messaging y'all in the chat specifically and saying, you guys aren't going to like this, or specifically, I think Austin's not going to like this. There's puzzles you have to pay attention to. <laughs> and you respond, you're like, gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, okay, so... That aside, now we've talked about that general structure layout and those puzzles. Thoughts on that? Did you like that there was a little bit? It was a little bit more involved, a little less autopilot, or was it just kind of a frustration when you already wanted the game to be over? Uh, Christian, you answer first. I felt like the puzzles helped make it more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. um, it, I felt like it was nice instead of just like go fight somebody who's significantly under level compared to you and then keep going um i felt like the puzzles helped break it up a little bit and make it a little more a little bit of flavor a little bit of spice yeah into that into the souffle of pokemon <laughs> the spicy souf pokemon souffle there's an image maybe maybe i shouldn't make the thumbnail and i should make austin's ai make a spicy pokemon souffle thumbnail um, but that aside, done. <laughs> done, he says. Okay, so, but there were puzzles in the main game. What's different about the puzzles in this post-game section for you, Christian? I felt like, specifically, I I don't know exactly what made the puzzles feel different this time around. I think it, I think it was more of just the factor, kind of like I said, that in, in the first game, like, you were always fighting people in similar level to you like it was like the battles were challenging but uh, in the post game after you've already beat the elite four and your pokemon are high levels almost everybody in the post game is lower level than you so you just kind of breeze through all the battles um so having something other than a battle to do was enjoyable that's a solid point honestly i hadn't considered that because yeah those battles were so yeah yeah uh, all right, Austin. What are your thoughts about kind of the layout of uh, of uh, Kanto in this in this Gen two? The only two things that I can kind of remember, just due to my horrible memory problems, was being lost on how to get to the next gym about sixty percent of my time <laughs> on the rerun, 
And then there's one puzzle that annoyed me, but I can't remember if it was main game or post game, where you had to keep flipping switches to open doors in a specific order to progress. I don't remember where that was, but I remember hating that. It was in the main game. No, it was, yeah, when you go to that last hideout where there's that stupid random... We complained about that, I think, last time. It was actually right after... Right before the 8th gym, I think? It was It was that... Okay. It was really frigging frustrating. Um, well, then there's no puzzles in the uh, expanded area that have left an impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I found our chats, by the way, when I got to that point. I said, y'all are going to be mad at Kanto. You said, oh. I said, I used my brain more in this four-hour chunk than the rest of the game combined. <laughs> I clearly did not because the main game puzzles were worse. Uh, well, I meant like the over overworld. <laughs> well, it was lost yeah, a lot. No, it's definitely. It's interesting. The offer uh, it does seem like a little less conveyance, but it doesn't add, feel like there's more freedom either. So I don't know. It's nice for a bonus area, but it sure does feel like a bonus area. Some people are like, "This is like a whole second game." I don't think that's quite fair, but it does kind of feel like a solid DLC epilogue type area, in my opinion. Yeah, the routes themselves mm -hmm. are shrunk down between oh, yeah. cities. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so the gyms didn't leave much of an impression. It's nice to see the characters again, I feel like, and it's 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 enjoyable, but uh I mean the real draw here is the thing that every it's known for, and that's finally getting to uh, fight red the player character of the previous game and boy there sure is a level curve isn't there fellas oh yes just a little bit yeah we go from like what like 50 at the highest to like isn't this pikachu 91 or something insane like that no i don't think they peaked above 80 yeah I, someone's most of them were below i'm going to google this i thought, I thought it was 89 hang on pokemon mine wasn't that difficult team. You were... at least in terms of levels it was the highest. Most of his Pokemon are like high 70s. All right, let me look at this. His Pikachu's 81, not 91, but it is 81. Yeah. So we were all close. <laughs> yeah, but it's... Uh, yeah, so that was kind of a hard roadblock. This whole game has kind of had those kind of roadblocks, I feel like, where it's like, oh, everything's fine and you're super overleveled. Wham! And I saw an interesting theory, or maybe it's not really a theory, maybe this is just true. That the reason there's these huge level spikes is that you're not intended, because this wasn't visualized, we talked about this in this first episode of the first podcast, this wasn't intended really to be kind of like we're playing it, we're playing it wrong, we've admitted that, as like a single player RPG, this was intended to be a social experience, and a big part of that also was going back and that's why they introduced the phone system so you could go refight older trainers. I think later games, spoilers, find much more elegant solutions to this. But the idea being that when you hit one of those curves, you weren't supposed to do what we did, which is turn on fast forward unless you're Christian, sorry, and grind, but you were supposed to mm. go throughout the weeks and go refight trainers. <laughs> refight trainers and uh, with those phone calls that we all love so much, our favorite feature. And it's even more annoying that it's it's funny that because it is our most hated feature, but I wonder if back in the day if that was like our source of EXP and we we're playing it kind of as intended, if we might not despise it from the core of our beings, you know? Um, but I do find that interesting theory about about the uh, the about the phone calls. But speaking of phone calls, I don't know about y'all, but we we got a lot of phone calls from one particular fellow, didn't we? Yeah. Did we? Youngster Joey. Anthony. Oh, have we not talked about him yet? We have not talked about Youngster Joey. So, <laughs> okay. No, no, Youngster Joey kept calling us and calling us, and I don't know about y'all, but I just took him out of my phone. But then it got a little spooky because he uh, he started making contact in real life, didn't he? Yeah, uninvited. Yeah. <laughs> want to want to tell us about that? <laughs> want to tell us about that, Austin? <laughs> uh, well, let's open up the nooks and crannies on my memory banks here uh all i remember was our welcome chat just getting a pop message and i'm like oh what's this and it's just like some ai chat bot joined it's like hey what's up bros or uninvited yeah oh yeah no no yeah, it's like oh here, I, who are you i found it i said hey, clyde just landed i put at clyde and then it reacted with the last gif i sent <laughs> you said virgil going 
What form of power is this? <laughs> and I said, WTF, Clyde? And he goes, uh oh, what's up? And I go, how are you? How and why are you here? I didn't invite you. And he goes, I just popped in. No invite needed. <laughs> and I put, what the hell, man? But chill, dude. <sighs> but it, it didn't stop there, did it, Christian? Not at all. So what, what what happened next? I'd love to hear your take on what happened with Clyde. We kept on trying to break him. <laughs> or at least I was. We, we did. <laughs> we gaslit him pretty hard. Uh, we did. We, <laughs> we just started... Each one of us would just fire a, a random question off at him. Into the point that after so many questions, we started repeating questions to try to catch him in a lie. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah the conversation here because he talks like the thing is he talks in such an annoying where he's like yeah bro nah dude like he talks like that and so he said <laughs> yeah but oh my gosh <laughs> all right uh you austin you said clyde which pokemon generation is your favorite and he said gen 2 my man and i said clyde but you actually like gen 4 better and the Clyde goes, Gen 2 is cool, but yeah, Gen 4 is mad vibes too. <laughs> and then, mm-hmm. and then uh, skipping down a little bit. And then I said, at Clyde, but I thought Gen was too better. And he goes, nah, bro, Gen 4 tops it. <laughs> but, but my guy, my dude, my bro, isn't Pokemon Crystal the best Pokemon game of all time? Depends on who you ask, bro. I'm asking you, bro, Sif. Nah, Heart Gold and Soul Silver are the champs, bro. <laughs> 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 you put, yeah, in, oh my word, yeah, it got so, but after a while we realized that, you know, Clyde wasn't really fitting in with the theme of this Pokemon, you know, channel here, right? And so, uh, mm-hmm. we gave him a little makeover at a certain point, um, is he, he still looks like Clyde to me, by the way, he, he reverted back, does he look like Clyde or does he look like Youngster Joey to y'all? He looks like Clyde. He looks like Youngster Joey. Joey to me. Interesting. I guess it depends. But yeah, we uh, changed his profile picture to Youngster Joey and renamed him to Youngster Joey. And we tried to give him a series of commands where anytime someone said shorts, he'd respond about shorts and that he would call at random intervals. But it seems like the AI can't actually keep like long-term memory. They do it. He'd do it for like, like maybe a couple minutes after and then like kind of revert back. Um, mm-hmm. But it was pretty funny. Actually, guys. I think he left the server. He's not. Is he gone? Look at the right. Look at podcast bros. I don't, yeah, I don't see him there. But I can still like try attempt to edit him. <laughs> but then it doesn't. Yeah. Sort of perpetual load. I think he left the server. <laughs> Are you gonna add youngster him right? Joey, yeah, no. We lost youngster Joey. <laughs> the last question we sent him. Is uh, how do I get my wife to love me again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he wrote us a few poems. Oh, uh, he wrote. He sang like a thousand Pokemon in a Pokemon rap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seems like Clyde has flown the coop, though. You know, maybe he traded in his Rattata for a Pidgey. I clicked on Clyde's profile, mm-hmm. and they've changed. Under more info, it says, please at me, but not for advice. <laughs> Only for Discord support and safety issues. Uh, oh so, I guess we broke him. Did we break Clyde? I think we... <laughs> we, we, we Clyde and Clyde so hard, he unyoungster Joey. So... Uh, <laughs> He'll be back. He'll be back. Oh my word, that's hilarious. Okay, well, that was a slight diversion, but I felt it was necessary to talk about, you know, before the the main event, of course, which is Trainer Red, back to that. Fellas, that was pretty rough, wasn't it? Well, it was a wake-up call, man, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> bodied every gym. Uh, Blue kind of gave me a little rough time, but his Pokemon were kind of more suited against my types. Um, so he's the first time I thought, oh, okay, well, that was a, that was an actual battle. And then I got to Red, and the first time I fought him, the little brat who refuses to call his mom and bruise on a mountaintop, uh, completely one-shot me. Mm. 
and <laughs> sent me home packing. Even though at my current state, at the time that was one shot, I could fight the entire uh, Elite Four without having to use a single healing item, and I still get one shot by Red. <laughs> that was uh, that was not fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, Christian, my experience was pretty much the same. Just walking up, it's like, all right, let's see what. We oh, okay, instant death. I, I went and faced him. I was around like level fifty-four or something like that. How did it go for you your first time? I. I'm trying to remember how many times I fought him. Uh, dozens it, for me. He, I fought him a few times. He didn't one-shot me most of the time. Oh, um, special. But I, uh, I typically tried to to play around with typing to like whatever Pokemon he would throw out. I would try to switch to a type advantage against him. Um, and that typically helped preventing him from getting, like, a critical hit on me and one-shotting me. Well, nice. Yeah, Austin and I, it was time to get motivated because it was rough. I <coughs> I went, yep, yeah, I knew how bad it was. I was like, I just want this to be over, so I just trained. I think I just, like, grind it took two days, but I just, like, straight up just, like, grinded constantly to get up to a certain level and then, and then take him out. And eventually I was able to do some finagling and win but man it was quite a doozy that that snorlax in particular you really got a cheese or just way overpower in my opinion mm -hmm. but yeah so but after all because uh austin even you for a while were like i don't know if i'm going to finish this one either it may not be worth the trouble <laughs> but you ended up doing so yes rng was on my side once <laughs> i hit a certain point <laughs> Uh, I was trying to type as best I could, too, because, I mean, I had a few different type abilities on each Pokemon, so I was able to kind of cheese it a bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, even then, I had to hope that he didn't just pull off some BS move and completely wipe the floor with me, which I got lucky <laughs> with a lot of uh, critical hits in the last time. And then I made him flinch quite a bit, which was extremely helpful. Nice. Okay, we'll end with... Let's do final thoughts, then. All right, since you're so eager, Austin, you go first. I gotta figure out my thoughts. <laughs> uh, I am pretty happy that I actually finished the game. Uh, <laughs> it is a nice change of pace from being bodied before the Elite Four. <laughs> uh, definitely bringing the Devil May Cry crew was a blessing in disguise, and there was pure motivation and plenty of pizza to go around. Uh... <laughs> To celebrate our victory and it was better than gen one but slightly better than gen one uh christian what are your thoughts i i really enjoyed gen two i thought i thought it was a good experience definitely um a great chance to step up step it up on the polka lore <laughs> uh <laughs> but uh i mean i always heard really good things about gen two uh specifically crystal so i'm glad that i got a chance to play it and now i can actually express my opinion which is pretty it's pretty good it's definitely cool i i know we said it this in the first episode but just seeing the difference in just like pure game features and graphics and style between one and two it was really cool to be able to see that so that's awesome i think i'm going to be a slightly the contrarian here my opinion on Gen 2, having finished it, is if I was only going to tell, if someone said, hey, I am only going to play one Pokemon game, do I play Gen 1 or Gen 2? I'm 100% going to say play Gen 2. It is the better individual game if you were to take them in isolation, as if they weren't related. But I, I'm not viewing this as an isolated game. This is a sequel. And I don't feel it did enough right to feel like it was worth... I'm glad we went through it together, but I got a little frustrated with it. I still liked it overall. I don't think I regret playing it. I think I'm glad I have it under my belt. But I think I had more fun with Gen 1 just seeing, wow, there's all these cool new ideas. It was, it was fresh for its time, seeing where it all started. And Gen 2 feels so similar to me that while it is a better experience in a vacuum, I was really hoping for a little bit more um, in terms of change-ups. I don't know if that would be in the types of Pokemon you can collect, or the team building, or what that looks like, but I'm gonna admit, by the by about the halfway point, 
I got a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. Not that it was miserable, but I think I'm going to be the contrarian here and say, I'm still glad we're doing it. I'm still glad we went through it, but I think I like, I had more fun doing Gen 1. So we'll see how that transfers to Gen 3. If I'm just getting tired of Pokemon in general already, which is a bad sign, or if this particular <laughs> game just didn't wow me, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, let's. No, I get that. Do the Pokemon battle. Or maybe, hold on, counterpoint. Maybe he should go first so he doesn't get to see all the strategies. Or we could paper, rock, scissors. Paper, rock, scissors. With three people? Yeah. Alright, type it into Discord. Uh, what? <laughs> How is this going to work? <laughs> Alright, everyone get your Wait, answer. There's, there's delay! Okay, which one <laughs> are we putting it in? In gameplay discussion. Hang on. When, when, <laughs> when, when I say go, everyone post it. Like, already type it out. And then we'll... Okay, on, wait, on, give me a second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, type out what you're gonna put, and then on shoot, <laughs> we'll do it. <sighs> Alright, ready? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Alright. All right, are you re are you ready? <laughs> sure. All right, Christian. I am ready. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were all gonna make this. Okay, Falcon. Okay. Christian, you're we fighting Austin. No, Christian, you're fighting <laughs> Austin. I'm, I'm I am. Man. I don't want to be knocked out first. No, we all get to fight each other. It's just too uh, Christian and Austin. Except. Yeah, yeah in the, the lobby. Oh. oh gosh, that's a loud oh. noise. <laughs> yeah, I remember the music oh. as always. Oh my word. Oh my. Fall your mixer. Fall your mixer. Mute. <laughs> I, right. I, I can't that hear myself it. think. I can't hear any of you. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh. Top right. Top right. <laughs> okay. Top right. I found it. Oh my word. I. I couldn't hear my thoughts. Or you guys. I didn't. I blacked out. I didn't know where I was. It was super effective. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I turned my down. Confusion. Yeah, I turned my down from last time. That happened last time, if y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh my word. Oh man, so we got Wacky Woohoo Pizza Man Dante versus Whoop Day Whoop. <laughs> Here we go. Indeed. I don't like this matchup already. Fire versus water yeah, and, ground. and ground. That's not a great, not a great place to be. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah. <laughs> you could do it, Austin. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh man, are those levels gonna overcome the, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> I already took more damage than I wanted. <laughs> Cause I got, I only have two and I gotta survive six. <laughs> Yum! Oh man. Alright, uh, yeah. Yeah. You don't taste as good as pizza, but it'll do. <laughs> Falling water, yeah! <laughs> that sprite is All so All right, good. Dante! Do it again! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that waterfall did not do a lot, to be honest. It didn't. Am I too quiet still, or am I coming across it? No, you sound good. Does this simulate flinching? <laughs> yes, it does. I'm not doing good on flinching. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Come on, Dante! <laughs> this is a pretty tight match, actually. Oh, Hello no. there. These must be the crystal sprites because they look way cooler than what I played with. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Ooh. Please flinch. <laughs> For all that is good, flinch. <laughs> Just flinch! 
You have Astrid! I live! <laughs> <laughs> One Pokemon taking down three is good enough for me! <laughs> oh. Is Christian gonna be dethroned? Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, knock. It's <laughs> Knuckles. <laughs> Wait, am I? Oh, oh. I'm moved. Haha! <laughs> but I had the berry because I anticipated this move. <laughs> but I'm gonna Stay die. Alive. Oh, it didn't what? work. What? Yes! <laughs> Burn! <laughs> RNG is on my side! Uh oh, what am I gonna do against this? Uh. Yeet! Oh! Oh! oh. oh okay! I did not expect that. He's a bug steel. The steel's weak to fire and. Is Dante just gonna carry this? Gonna oh no! Yeah, you got it! I like. <laughs> I like the question mark in Ring a Bell. I think it really ties his name together. Thank you. I I am dethroned. I'm. Oh! oh Dante won me six. Oh, oh man. man, those levels. <laughs> oh, I had oh. used strength instead of swift. Yeah, oh, yeah man. that would have killed him. <laughs> oh man. Oh, yeah, that, it would have been very different if Dante Ooh. died. <laughs> Those two grasses versus my Virgil might have been a different story. <laughs> Alright. Oh, right. man. All right. that, good that was battle. <laughs> good battle. That was purely just my... Slack. That was Royal Garden. I mean, if right we were there. doing this seriously, we'd do, like, best out of three, but this is pretty goofy, so... Oof. Oof. Well, <laughs> oh. Oh. so what happens if Christian wins? <laughs> uh, That's a good question. Then it's a rematch, I guess, or we call it a tie, you know. Oh, or we just fight for fun. <laughs> we'll just keep the points. Uh, no, no, you and I will still fight. We'll just like it's just the points to see who won the most. Um, this is bad because I'm. Bad. He's fighting for the chance to be in second. <laughs> Yes! Oh no. <laughs> oh, it missed. Yeah. Mm. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 because he's a Caesar, or he was. Oh. Wait a minute, why isn't he a Caesar? This is the wrong Pokemon! He's supposed to be a. He's supposed to be his evolved form! Oh! Oh! This is pre evolved uh. form! Well, that's just life. I may try and fix it before the next match, but yeah. Wow, I'm gonna be asleep for 17 years. That's cool. I like that. Thank you. Holy foul. Why am I here? Just to suffer? I can still feel my arm. Okay, there we go. I did something. Well. Come on, you can do it. I believe. You can kill one of them. Yeah, let's see. Immune! I knew yes. he was... <laughs> he anticipated it. Yes! That's why he's on the team. A water type that is immune to electricity. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I thought it did damage too, but I guess not. Alright, we'll play this game man. <laughs> <laughs> At least it hit this time. Your worst inhibition's gonna psych you out in the end! See, because he thought I was going to do a water move, so you swapped to him, but I did a psychic move, actually. Oh, Falcon Bunch, uh -oh. dude! Whoa! <laughs> that sure was an option! <laughs> Yeet! Oh, you're faster than me. I don't like that. He's pretty higher level than you. Yeah. Oh, I have to click it again to confirm. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> it makes me confirm I'm still going to fly. I'm like, okay, I, I'm just going to do it. What am I going to do here? Uh, I wasn't sure who would be faster on that one. Yeah, that was a good. That was not a bad like decision. <laughs> there we go. Wait a minute, I'm an idiot. Nita Bonita. Oh, it missed. Gosh dang it. Gonna keep playing this game, huh? The amount of Pokemon switching in this one is hilarious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, now here... I'm just like... Fight till you die, and you're like, come back, go, come back, go, come Here, back, yeah. Go. <laughs> it's because we're both trying to balance typing so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm just using brawl power. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of what I have to when I only have two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. I didn't know Earthquake could miss. I didn't know either! <laughs> huh. Well, apparently it can. <laughs> there we go. Prolanda, no! <laughs> Prolanda! Oh. Headbutt missed? Oh, what his accuracy? Yeah, I did flash on you twice before I died. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Nice, nice. Making a slight comeback. Oh, come on! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's over, boys. It's Jover. <laughs> I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're holding up pretty well. <laughs> Oof, yeah, well. It's okay. Like I said, it's Jover. <laughs> Come on, Dragonair, take him out, no. please. No. no. Yeah. Oh. Johnny boy. Oh, man, that's rough. <laughs> well, three of his went down. He right. hurt a few others. That's yeah. pretty good. All right, so you have a point, and Christian has a point right now. Um, so, Austin, you and I need to fight. 
And yes, if, we need to uh, fight. If I, I win, you. if I win, we have a problem. I don't know what we do at that point, but <laughs> and it's a three-way tie. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> right, you guys... Maybe I could be honorary champion because I beat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with this. Yum. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 Oh damn it! I forgot to fix rock paper. Master. Oh well. Oh, that berry is gonna be annoying. I don't think it's enough. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I was worried there. <laughs> um, come on, Dante. At least kill one more before you go down. <laughs> oh, you don't like that. Hmm. I just have not gotten a flinch at all during this. I know mm -hmm. it can. Why? Well, I got it to happen a lot more often in normal play. It's kind of sad that it hasn't procced once. Okay, I got three nice. down. Ugh. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. Electric, huh? Um, this might be where Dante. No, <laughs> let's go, Virgil. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, I could lose this. I can't do. Oh no, oh. I'm paralyzed. Oh no. Yeah, come on, Perilous. Uh, the Perilous, oh. I think, just killed me. <laughs> we'll have to see. No, because you're grass. I'm screwed. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Nope, I lost. <laughs> GG. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's a three way tie! <laughs> Well, what do we do? <laughs> how unsatisfying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <coughs> Tell us who you think was the real winner in our hearts in the comments. <laughs> I mean, do you guys want a rematch of any kind, or you just want to be like, well... That's funny, Christian beats you, yeah. but you beat the guy who beat the guy who beat you. Uh -oh. that, that's just... It's like a full type advantage around one yeah. of us is strong against the other, but that, weak against the other. Yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. really fun. The true Pokemon experience. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's hilarious. Well, I mean... I, I genuinely don't know what to do. <laughs> much like Gen 2, I think that was slightly unsatisfying, but I'm still glad I did it. <laughs> Uh, the match with Christian, I thought, was a really oh, fun no, one. I actually just cheering for Dante to carry. No, I actually had yeah. a lot of fun with it. I just oh, and also it's symbolic. Oh, I'm gonna put scissors, paper, rock. I'm gonna put that foreshadowing with a question mark, like when that happens. <laughs> oh man. Okay, but but okay. I know we already said final thoughts, but last thing before we wrap up and head up to the next uh, thing, let's do tier list. Okay, so pulling up i don't remember where it was let's actually do adjusted tier list let's not do what it was based on like let's not remember what we said at the end of last time real quick gin one is it we've got a b c d i think there may be an f coming back to it now gin one i'll say for me is like a c it's still like a c tier here what about you austin i've heard from every time i've asked you it's gone a lower level actually I would I think I would agree C. It's pretty it's it's borderline C. It might be tinging to fall to D, but at the moment I'll keep it C. Okay. Wasn't the worst experience because I also got to remember 
that I played it in a really terrible fashion, and I can't let that affect how I rate it too hard. You totally can. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you did. You didn't give if it. If it was based on my experience, it would be an F. But if it's based on the game as it's a, just as a package, it's probably a C. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Christian, where, where's Pokemon Gen 1 for you? Has it moved at all? I think you said a C. Did you say a B last time? You may have said a B last time. I don't remember. What do you say now, though? Wait, Gen 1 or Gen 2? Gen 1 first. Just where is it on the ranking now? Okay. I... Hmm. I think Gen 1 is looking currently a C+. All right, all right. Like a high C... Maybe if it works a little harder, it could get a B on the next <laughs> four card. <laughs> okay, so where's Gen 2 for you, then, on the rankings? It's a B-. If, oh. it, if it doesn't watch itself, <laughs> it'll fall. So you see what I mean? I, I, <laughs> I'm picking up what you're putting down here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then my, I, I'd say Gen 2 is also a C. I don't think it's a D. But if, you know, like, you know, on the tier list, the further to the left, the better it is. I, I would put Gen 2 and Gen 1 both in C, but I would actually put Gen 1 over to the left. Again, I'm ranking more based on, like, my feelings about it. If I was only going to tell one person, I'm, I'm I, Gen 2 on, in a vacuum is a better game than Gen 1. I agree. And for that, I should go to the left. But it's a bad, it's not a great sequel, in my opinion. If I already own Gen 1... And I got Gen 2 being like, oh man, it's the next Pokemon. I'd be like, okay, this was the same Pokemon again, kind of. And like, it would have been a, bit, a little bit of a letdown for me. That's how I felt going into this. So it's still a C, like it's like it's younger, older, or sorry, like it's older brother. But it's it's a little bit further to the right on that thing for me. Austin, where are you at with Gen 2? Gen 2 would probably be a B minus. Okay, okay. So y'all are both feeling about the same. I guess I guess Christian's a little sweeter on Gen 1 than you are, but in terms of Gen 2, y'all are both feeling about the same place for it. Okay. Well, that's real fun. Guys, blesses my socks off that y'all do this with me. I am pumped. I think I'm going to make it now. Audience, listen. We got to have a big audience so that you can hold it to, and we're going to get to the end of Platinum by the end of next year. I'm calling it now. All right. Fantastic. Now that we're all committed to that. <laughs> we can ring in the new year, new Pokemon, a new a new type of hardware, because the next Poke Podcast that we're all going to be together is going to be Gen 3, Ruby, Salfa, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And I'm pumped. Are you guys pumped? Are you guys tired? Ready for other Pokemon? I'm looking forward to expanding my team strategy, because the more Pokemon I add, the more... Uh the different my strategies will be yeah yeah all right christian you excited you're like dear god please let this stop what have i signed up for <laughs> i'm about as pumped as a maw champ oh, <laughs> oh man you, that's why <laughs> youngster joey really left he got scared that your puns just made him obsolete <laughs> exactly all right well on that note fellas this is us signing off for 2023 see you next year see you Take it.